Okay. From a three um, let's talk about this. I'm recording, so, and I'll put this on YouTube right away, so that if you have questions <laughs> afterwards, you can um, go back and review okay. any of that if you're not in class. This worksheet, this little bit of the unit, is all about how do motion graphs translate into actual motion. And so we're going to be describing that sort of stuff. <coughs> with this sheet and the first side of it it's, it's a long assignment by the way um, long at least as far as pages the first side of this is going to be looking at displacement I hate this thing every day We're going to have displacement over here and time. Now, these aren't marked off by numbers, so you're not going to be calculating anything with this. So that's sort of the good news for you. Um, what you will be doing is describing. So think of these, all of these, as though you've got the motion detector and the lab quest in front of you, and you're trying to match this. <coughs> So let's take an example. Let's say that you get a line that's straight across on there. How would you have to move with your motion detector in order to do that? Stay still. You would stand still. So over here, you right? Impossible. You would. You you, you can't stand still. Uh -uh. Stand still. Okay, let's say that you got something that is, yeah. uh, I can't do that. Oh, wait, wouldn't it be flat on zero because your distance is not moving? What do you mean flat on zero? Because there's no distance, you didn't move the distance. Your thing you off. didn't move, yeah, only parts of it, oh. right? Because down here, it goes exactly where I want it. But if I want to do something around, yeah, it's really screwed up. I love it. See, that's right where I'm pointing. I'm going to do another one really quick. Why? Mm -hmm. No, not that. Okay. Have you ever had it where, like, there's just an all of a sudden, like, sharp ringing in your ear and then it goes away like 10 seconds? That's a really interesting diversion. Let's ignore it. Oh, I was just wondering because I just got one of them. I remember that. Okay, let's say that you have something. Oh, so your question, Taylor, about wouldn't it be at zero? See if I can scroll back up. Well, no, it's not at zero. Right? You're at some distance. It doesn't list what that distance is, but you're at some distance and you stand there. <laughs> what if you had something like this? <coughs> Assume that's a straight line. It, it was meant to be. You're moving forward. What do you mean forward? Towards the wall or away from the wall? Towards the wall. How do you know? Okay, so the constant speed thing, I believe. But how do you know it's towards the wall? Because every velocity has a positive and negative direction. The positive direction would be going towards the wall. Okay, now what is this distance measuring? Displacement. What is that? Dis yes, what is that displacement measuring? In our lab, what was it measuring? distance between you and the wall. What's happening to the distance between you and the wall here? Okay, so what direction must you be going? Backwards, backwards. Yeah. So this would be a moving backwards. Now your your point of a constant speed, that's good. How fast is it? Are you going slowly? medium or quickly and how would you know Slow. code case slowly because it's like longer no it takes more time mm -hmm. possibly medium pace how would you know because quicker would be more time. okay so what are you using to determine if both of you are using the same sort of thing what are you using to determine how quick it is the time the slope the steepness we call that slope though so the slope and, and I guess I'd be in Caleb's boat, in Caleb's camp with this. It's sort of a medium slope, right? So it's, uh, if it were very shallow, then it would be slow, maybe medium, and fast. 
Um, so moving backwards at a constant medium speed. It, there will be some <coughs> in this that, like your assignment, will be oops, will be parts of a line. And so now oh, that's okay. How would you have to move in order to match this? Well, first you'd have to stay in the same spot where you started. Okay. And then once it started going up, you would have to move backwards. No, forward. Yeah, backwards. Backwards. And how can you describe your speed there? Fast. Is it constant or is it a changing speed? Constant. Constant. How do you know? Because I don't know. How did you know? Yeah. Because it's Yep. Yeah. Precise. It, it's got the same slope the whole way, right? So that tells us it's a constant speed. What do we call it? Fast, medium, or slow speed? Fast. Mm -hmm. I'll let you make that choice. Um, I would call it medium. I'm okay if you call it yeah. fast. Um, but really, it's a combination of both of these, right? So you would stand still, as Casey said, until your mark gets to the uh, elbow, then you would move backwards at a constant medium. Maybe you think it's fast speed. Okay, so there will be lots of different ones like that. Um, on the back side of this, it asks you to figure out velocity versus time graphs. I'm going to copy a couple of those. And these, of course, take a little more time and a little more thought to try and match, to try and understand. Mm. So let's look at a couple of velocity versus time. So here we have a velocity and a time. Let's say that you get something that's right along this line. How would you move in order to match that? We've got heard lots from Caleb and Casey, so let's give them a break. That line at that red line in the middle. Stay still. How do you know? Okay. So this is stand still at Trinity said because it's straight, it's not going up and down. Did anyone have anything to add to that? Anyone else? We're gonna give you guys a break. Yes. How do you know? You're right, it's a constant speed. Casey? Yeah, it doesn't like move up and down and stuff. Since it's flat, it means yeah. a constant speed, right? Um, and we sort of said that with a standstill. That's sort of implied with a constant speed. How do we know it stands still here, though? Because usually the middle line means zero. Because usually the middle line means zero. So standing still means velocity equals zero. So negative would be you moving away from the So let's, let's look. So the other options are a negative or a positive. <coughs> what do we, yes. Okay, what's gonna be different about the motions when one is positive or one is negative? Just direction. Direction's gonna be different. So let's talk about which one's which. Um, positive direction means you're moving in the it's a positive direction. So if we look back here, oops, come on, oh, I hate you. Um, positive direction means your distance, your displacement is getting bigger and bigger. That's something like this, going up, right? So if you're moving back away from the wall, that's moving in the positive direction. Yeah, it's kind of opposite of, from where you think. So we have to reference that wall. Um, if you had a section going down, now your distant displacement from the wall is getting smaller and smaller. That's the negative direction. Same thing applies down here. So if we our green one, pos it's positive. How would we describe our motion in this for this? Casey. No. What did we just say about a positive velocity? What did we just say it about flat. it? It is flat. Yep. Moving in a positive direction at a constant speed. What does positive direction mean? Okay, back away from the wall. 
Now, you said at a constant speed. Why? Because if you would stop moving, then the zero velocity would go back down to zero. Down to zero. This is not moving. It's not the fact that it's flat. That just tells us that we're staying at the same speed. Would you judge this to be a slow, medium, or fast speed? And how do you know? Um, Stacy? Well, how do you know? Because it's flat. No. Don't think flat. That means constant, that it's not changing. Oh. Medium. Why would you th say medium speed? How far is above the zero? How far <laughs> of it, of it is it above the zero? So down here, that'd be a very slow speed because it's closer to zero. Probably a medium up here would be a high speed. The fact that it's flat tells you that it's <coughs> constant, not how fast it is. All of these are constant. What about, okay, so the constant medium speed. How about the red one? How would we describe that fold? Um. What direction is it? It's going away from the wall. No, it's going towards the wall. Right. Negative direction, that distance is getting smaller. Move towards the wall. What can you tell me about the speed? Um, it's constant and it's like a medium speed. At a constant medium speed. For the same reasons, constant comes because this one is flat. That means we're keeping a steady speed. Medium because closer to zero would be slow, farther away from zero would be fast. So this is somewhere in between. This worksheet asks you to describe those on the back. Now you'll notice that some of them are quite easy, but some of them get different steps in it. And on the front, you'll get different angles and things. I want you to describe each section. So it'll be first do this, then do this. Instructions up here are quite clear. Make sure to follow all of them. So it says, uh, describe how you would have to move in order to match the lines. Details to include are, would you move toward or away from the wall, quickly or slowly? Would the direction or speed change during that time? Would you accelerate or keep a steady speed? The bottom of the graph is zero on this one, and write in complete sentences. On the back, same sort of thing, but now it's velocity versus time. Describe how you would have to move it in order to match the lines. Details to include are, would you move toward or away from the wall, quickly or slowly, would the direction or speed change during the time, and would you accelerate or keep a steady pace? As before, this axis is zero for that. So we're going to work on these descriptions throughout the class today. There is another page to this, but we'll talk about that. If, you, if everyone were to get done, we'll talk about it today. 